tumbling back to me when I see you they get out of control funny how you still can touch my soul and I can't help but remember it I'm Randy Lamb. How you doing? We've seen all your pictures and we love your work. We just never thought we'd get a chance to meet you here in person. We're here to meet your mother and find out how to go about learning some of those great moves you did in Dirty Dancing. Yeah, we just entered a dance competition and we only have a few weeks to learn all we can. Actually, we could really use some good advice and a lot of help. Yeah, we really want to win. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, well, you came to the right place. Uh, my mom can help you. Let's go. So you've got six weeks to learn to dance. Six weeks. Six weeks. A lot of work. Well, yeah. <laughs> well let, let me say this. There are no shortcuts to learning anything well. And uh, the amount of time you're willing to sacrifice, the uh, complexity of the art that you want to study, the style of the dancing you want to study will determine how long it's going to take you to dance. That's an individual thing. Everybody's an individual. You learn at your own rate of speed. Right, buddy? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not a ma and it's not a matter of just learning choreography just to, you know, just to present it. it. 
I, th I think what cre creates a winner is a person who can connect with their partner, another human being, and connect with their soul. Uh, it's not just learning steps. It's about expressing something. I mean, I, in, I found in dancing all my life that, uh, that I can release something as a dancer that I can't in any other way. And if you get into it in that way, it's irresistible. You have to win. And you win whether you get the trophy or not, because you win something here. Yeah, and there, there are a lot of other things to think about, too. Posture, placement, rhythm, style, uh, as Buddy said, uh, Patrick said, leading and following. But, uh, and also, how much time are you willing to dedicate of your young lives to, you know, to learning in six weeks? I know, you know, you've probably danced a great deal in the clubs, but when you start into Latin dances and uh, dirty dancing and uh, <laughs> wall singing <laughs> and tango and samba and swing and jitterbug, uh, there's so much, they're all different, the music's all different, the style's all different, the attitude's different. It, so. but the, there's a wonderful freedom when you, when you get connected with a partner, or you, it, and, and it's not once you, once you get a connection with one person, that can carry over into your life and, and, and everything, because, uh, or every, any other partner or any other person you dance with. It, being on the dance floor can be a blast, because once you understand frame and, and how to move as one, it, it's amazing. You can take anybody anywhere. There's nobody you can't teach to dance. How do you learn to relax? I know when I'm up on stage, I get real nervous in front of an audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rehearsal know what you're doing to where that's out of the way and then this stuff can come out of you. Maybe they'll just show you a few of the moves that make the things we've been talking about okay. possible. Oh, great yeah. idea, Mama. <laughs> great. All right, now, the, I'll uh, just let you tell them what you're going to do because I know it's spontaneous and re realize now Lisa has to follow. She doesn't know what he's going to do. Based in ballroom? Yeah. So, yeah, based, based in ball? ba or ball so, kind of working into theatrical. Okay, very specifically, the frame is the whole key. You have to feel like you're holding a ball, sort of. And she's a little leaner than a ball, but sometimes she's leaner you. than a <laughs> 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 uh, So, she has to rest her arm on you, and, and it can never move. There can be no fluctuation whatsoever. And eye contact always has to be here, elbow up. It's not a tension, it's not holding her. And manipula manipulating. But there's enough tension so that he can he can do things with your with your arm to move wherever. To move, see, Push, yeah. Dump, bump, bump. That's where you get all those twists in. Mm -hmm. And that's where speed comes from. So. So like if you were doing a mambo, it's just easy. So you keep the looseness. It doesn't look like you you know you don't want to have all this strength going because you don't need it. Just enough. She really flew it. It doesn't bounce. Mm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, uh, that's now, also foot position. Also foot position. You you need to be your feet need to be very specific. Some uh, like in a waltz, in a box step, you go in straight in, in the same line as the feet, unless you're doing turns. Now see where my feet went in between the legs, because you lock this thigh with these thighs. A little fun. Um, <laughs> But uh, then you always have control. This hand, and when you move in those turns, you notice, you notice the hand can move lower if you want. And you can get all those back arches and drops and ready for lifts. Yeah. Right. Yeah, how do you know a partner is right for you? That has everything to do with knowing each other and, and, and practicing together until you work as one, until you begin to synchronize your, your movements and your thoughts and your... A rhythmical uh, feel for the music with your partner. I think it, it's very important. It all it, it it becomes clear. Like when I started dancing with Lisa years years ago. Uh, How long have you been dancing with you? Uh, Fifteen years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. About <laughs> 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 Even this one. Sort of moving. Got to know each other a little bit. Yeah. We don't have kids yet, but you know. <laughs> uh, uh, it it's. It's neat when you when you get that harmony with another person. It, um, see what happened? I think in the '60s is is all the dancing went into everybody dancing in their own little shell in their own little world, and not you know dance should be a communication. It's it's it's, it's the it's the base form of com communication that was on this planet yeah. before before language. Patrick, what preparations did you make for dirty dancing and for any other dancing role, as into theater or 
in your motion picture? Well, I've been dancing. Question. I've been dancing all my life. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, forced on me or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kidding, um, kidding. Make the joke, mama. <laughs> uh, uh, the the main focus is always the character. What 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 is true to the character? Like uh, Johnny Castle, you know, I I'm I'm a much better dancer than he is, but he's a guy from the streets of uh, Philadelphia. Uh, who studied with Arthur Murray. He didn't study from, uh, you know, a ballet teacher or a jazz teacher. Um, so you have to stay true to the character and then research that style of dance uh, as far as you can go and pull it off on film, hopefully better than anybody else can do it, and, or at least to, to the best of your ability, and, and connect yourself with the music. You have, to, you have to allow music to take you someplace else. You have to allow it to take you away. How about doing, they wanted to see a few of the kind of moves you might do in Dirty Dancing. Hip, yeah. even <laughs> like jazz hip isolation. <laughs> now that's where the legs really each other really come in handy. Yeah. And, and from that, if you've got that stable, you could almost do anything. So I'm there. See, if you go up on the ball of his foot, it's not. Just rocking not and rolling. A lot of people might think it's not a sexual thing. Mm. It's it's a uniform thing. Your your body moves moves exactly with each other. If you hold on to me, oh, see. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a little sexual. <laughs> um, like in classical ballet, this may look difficult, but uh, she can turn all day like this. Just hangs on that finger. You just keep it right over her head. She can fall off balance and let go of your finger. Uh, <laughs> uh, it looks harder than it is, but it's... Do a, do a fake yeah. out. Okay. okay. A double? That, that has everything uh, to Three in and posture. go. Three in and go? But not too hard. Okay, let me get off this track. Okay. Three? Yeah. One. Bad shirt to do this in. Uh, then you can come right out at two. <laughs> that and into a fish, maybe, and a fish well, and an arabesque. <laughs> an arabesque, which can also grow to a lift later, you know. How has your dancing helped you in other roles? Well, uh, agility, for one thing, yeah. and speed and timing. Um, and flexibility. Number one, you don't hurt yourself as quickly because I, I don't use a stunt, stunt man to do my stuff. Um, I'm also a mother. She's had me in everything, you know, from gymnastics to football, track, swimming, and diving. Skating. Skating, I, roller and ice, you know. Um, dancing gives you a familiarity with your body and an ability um, or a level of timing that you use in everything you do. I've always, I've, I've always picked up every sport very, 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 very fast uh, or anything I've done because I spent my life as a dancer. <laughs> I don't know. Just, oh, you just, know. Just, like what? Just keep going. Just keep going. Wow. Well, and if they had music at this point, they would be phrasing their movements to say four beats per measure or three beats yeah. per measure of music or six you beats. You get a little beat. disco, and it's just yeah. all control. So you don't let the arms right. go out. You keep keep that same tense, yeah. tenseness right here. Right. Two. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. What makes it look so easy for professionals? and make it look so hard for amateurs like us. 
Training. Training. Got to study. And really, it's more than six, six weeks worth of training to truly, truly be good. Yet, she's a master at making people kick it. Do you That's think right it's right. possible that we could get pretty good? I think uh, anything's possible. I think anyone can learn to dance. How well you do at it depends on you. How much time, you, you know, we've got to schedule a time that you can all be together, work together, and from then on, it's up to you. I mean, it's what, how much time you're willing to sacrifice, what you're willing to give. The thing is, if you put the effort in there and you get the training, it, it almost... Now, of course, you know, if you don't stay in shape, there are things you can't do. But it's not stuff that you lose. It's something that stays with you for the rest of your life. So it's... Yeah, and that's really wonderful because, because it does take enormous effort. It really pays off and you don't lose what you've gained. Patsy, you know that I learned dancing from Patsy. Why I, I particularly progressed so fast. Because she didn't just teach you the steps. She explained why you did it, why your body worked that way. So it got used to start thinking about your own body, saying, well, if I do this, this is going to happen. And you started using your own brain and figuring it out so that it isn't like, oh, well, you know, I just moved from A to B. She teaches how, so that you know how you got from A to B. When you're working as hard as you have to work to be a competitive dancer or a performing artist, uh, there's a tremendous amount of strain on your body. And you may be all strong and healthy and very good at, you know, street dancing or dirty dancing or freestyle dancing. But there's a great, de you, you have a great need for flexibility. But uh, we stress in our training uh, a thorough knowledge of music, uh, rhythmical beats, uh, key signatures, ch uh, timing changes, but uh, proper warm-up slow, consistent, thorough warm-up. Sometimes we do an hour to hour and a half warm-up before, <clears throat> excuse me, we ever dance. You have to look at your muscles like a rubber band. You put that rubber band in, in, in the freezer, take it out and pull it, it's going to break. If it's warm and supple, it moves. Do you have to start at four years old like you're talking about, or do you have to, you know, be older or younger? Or what is a good age? There's a great deal of difference in uh, theatrical dancing and ballroom dancing. I've known old couples who've started ballroom dancing and done clogging and square dancing and waltz and foxtrot. But you're not going to find many people my generation and older who do not already dance because our generation were born in the days of the big bands when, when the national pastime was ballroom dancing, which is what your generation is now today coming back to. And if you think things like cha-cha and merengue and hustle and the moonwalk and dirty dancing is new. You got another thing coming because we were doing it long before your mamas were born. It, it, com it comes back. It comes back in a cycle. Like nobody can take that away from James Brown. He was moonwalking before there was a Michael Jackson. But I mean, just to, uh, for an example, I learned ballroom dancing from my stepfather and my mother, who were superior dancers. And all of my friends, uh, parents, would go dancing together on Saturday night. Well, you know, we grew up with the waltz and, and the tango. The Latin dances became popular later on, and in the 60s it started all the swim, the hustle, the jerk, the twist, and all of those really things. Really. Right. And my children, <laughs> I started my children dancing uh, at, at a tiny little age because that was my profession, number one. But their dad had not a, a feel for rhythm. He had I was no gonna, rhythm. My dad, your dad, your father? Your husband. husband. I yeah. mean, <laughs> my husband, your gonna, father. I was going to say that when you asked the question, about that man had no rhythm, but he but was beautiful on the dance floor. He was the most floor. beautiful thing on the <laughs> dance floor because he had an elegant bearing. He was not only very handsome, but he moved beautifully. Nobody ever knew either. Because he knew how to take a woman in his arms. Because the key very to being romantic. A, the key, yeah, the key to being a good partner, that the man's function is you bring no focus to yourself. Your whole function is to make the woman beautiful, That's make right. her flow, make 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 her movement, ecstasy and and, and flight. You know, mm, she looks good. Yeah. Is it still possible? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> it's sort of like horses do, you know. But it's really funny because the men that I've seen dance and partner women, the ones that really go after making the woman look good and making sure that she moves really fluidly 
Actually, those are the men that look the best on the dance floor. I agree. And it's, yeah. it's really funny how it works mm. out that way, because in a way, they, they're giving it all to the woman, but in doing that, it's, it, comes it, it, just, it comes right back at it. I think what he's trying to say here while he breathes is he can take her into extremely high throws in the air, aerial things, where she would spin one, two, or three times before he'd catch her in some various position. Well, like in gymnastics, the key, the key in gymnastics is, is deflecting momentum. Like, you, got, you have forward momentum going, and the key is, like, when you do a round-off flip-flop back flip, the, the round-off flip-flops are to, are to deflect that momentum upward. Right. So all you're doing is using inertia or, or momentum in one direction to redirect it. Oh, same, and same thing with the woman. It's not like yeah. you can do... do and you don't have to be a power lifter. You, you can do presses like this, but uh, that's all strength. If you've got a, a heavy partner, big bones and chunky muscles, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it don't make it too easy. Are there a lot of people that just can't jump, just can't get off the ground? So you learn ways, and that's where timing comes in, the whole key. Mm -hmm. like girl has a lot to do to live too. A lot. Completely. Oh, she does all the work. She does like, um, all the work, or he has like to do, do it. Like, do that quite <clears throat> You know? Uh, don't put your uh, arabesque. Uh, yeah. I think if you turn this way a little bit, you might have a little more room, wouldn't you? Facing right. out that way a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I no, we're not going to do. Oh. You have to jump quite uh, uh, You mean, mean jump and go up? Yeah. Oh, See, so. I, could do it, I could do this lift like this, go. With just oh, one step. I, I can do it here, catch throw. her, and you, then press her up. But see, if you, use, if you use her momentum, I'll try to stay low. If you use her momentum, when she goes up, you catch her mm -hmm. momentum and just continue it. So and and it's, all, it's all your legs, not this. Yeah. That's the timing part. Right. Yeah. Go. You know, the hardest part to lift is from here. Yeah, yeah. Once you get up right. there, yeah. A lot easier. Right. Yeah, and you can run from either now, the lower side. You go. It depends on his strong lifting arm and her strong jumping side. Yeah. See, like when she did that, I caught her here and pressed her from here. But you notice I didn't use my legs. I just bent them just a little bit. Think about it. When she uses the jump, she jumps, say, from here to here. Watch what happens. You just go low, just like a, those weightlifters, you know. So you're not going to press her up this time. You're just going to show yeah. them how to. So I'm going to okay. go up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's going to be a pop. Go. Okay. I Lift. use her momentum. And also, later, uh, he would throw her and catch her, yeah. see? Which is real fun for the girl. Yeah. yeah, you do get a few bruised ribs when the boys yeah. don't have good hands. Now, he's lucky in that he has marvelous hands. Not only are they big, big hands, but they're very sensitive hands, so he has a good feel for the girl. And now, Lisa's got the perfect body for ballet and lifts and exhibition ballroom. But also, she has very delicate bones, so her ribs would pop just like that. So you can't catch that under rib. So that's another thing. You work your own partner. Oh, her balance point is different. Whereas if he did the lift with you and you're a lot shorter, you have a long back and short legs. <laughs> but, but you understand what I'm saying, that every partner is going to lift a different way depending on the leg length and the back length and where her, ba her balance point is. Yeah. Come here. Do you know? She okay. has on a tight skirt. Come here. Go, go try. Go on. Oh, she's a skirt? Well, we won't be doing any lifts. Let me just, let me just see how you, how you do with the frame. Yeah. Now remember. Okay. Okay, just, oh, well, just relax and follow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good, good. You already have a little too much tension. Just relax. Now we're just going to do a mambo. Back. Good. That's well, it. Get the elbow up. Now look at my eyes. Relax. Good. Now, get, now, just, now just let it move your body. Good. You have to loosen up from the waist yeah. down. Good. That's it. Very good. Hot. You're a good club dancer. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, I think. Oh, what, what, one thing I wanted to, I thought would be fun, because I mentioned about trust earlier. Oh, yeah. Because you get used to everybody's uh, signals and everything. Like, okay, he doesn't know what I'm going to do. Oh, no. Should I jump? Okay, so let me see. Which one should I do? I'm do... Am I supposed to blindfold myself? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So from here, keep on 
Just do. <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. Uh, there we go. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> right. Now you can do the arch through. Oh. There's an arch through. The oh, this arch. is pretty. You want to try that? This is a very difficult <laughs> lift and hard on her back, yeah. but. Uh, yeah. And when you experiment, you learn all these yeah. things. You can just fall into. Mm -hmm. This is very beautiful. This. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun once you've been working for a while. Yeah, but you build up to it, you know, and yet boys have to learn how to lift with the legs, not the back. And it's the same thing as, you know, you're taught to lift in any other way. You lift, you lift from here, you're going to hurt your back. Right. You always use your legs, and you use your legs to do the lifting, not your back. Yeah. And what time it is, Mama? I think it's almost <laughs> 8 o'clock. It's time. We've got to catch a plane. Oh, buddy, thanks, uh, Patrick. Oh, well, thanks, Lisa. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Have fun. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go for it. Um, may, maybe by the time you get back, it'll be time for the competition. You can see them. We'll try. I work. Whether well, or not, just please yourself. Six weeks from Have now, they're going to be great. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Okay, gang, let's get around here so we can talk about a schedule that's going to work for everybody. To begin each class, you must prepare the muscles with slow, controlled stretching of each part of the body. Emphasis is always on correct posture and placement. Great care must be taken to do these stretching exercises without bouncing or without forcing. Using stretch and release are pulsing techniques. Good dancers never work with tension. Counting each movement helps to acquaint the student with a definite rhythm and a flow with the music. None of these exercises are done quickly, and usually a warm-up session takes about an hour. Gradually, as time goes by, they increase in intensity and in speed, but only after the student knows and is familiar with the way his or her own body responds to the stretch and to the exercise. These slow rhythmical warm-up exercises will begin to develop into center work walks, runs, jumps, spins, gradually increasing in complexity to the end of the class. Okay, kids, there's a difference in academic ballroom dancing and exhibition. Exhibition ballroom is a more advanced form of dance, and it encompasses the intricate footwork, complex lifts, kicks, leg extensions, spins, turns, and graceful arm movements of a more theatrical style. Dancers who want to do competitions usually study ballet. These movements are then added to the standard ballroom dances, such as waltz, foxtrot, Latin, and so on. And since some of you are beginner and some are intermediate and some are advanced students, we'll use each one of you to show that everyone can learn to dance. Okay, now we're going to work on teaching the girl to do a little jump and teaching the boys how to lift. It's a little jump. All right, fellas, each one of you get a girl and place your right hand under a rib cage and the left hand above the knee, not below the knee, above the knee on the thigh. 
All right, now the girl has to plie and do a little jump. The boys lift gently, staying right under her, not too high, just a little jump. This is a lot more difficult section because it's very theatrical and very dramatic. You have to be very flowing with the arms and continuous with the movement, and your timing must be matched exactly to your partner's. All right, that's good. Hold her upper back with both hands, Randy. Let her down slowly, easily. All right. And a double turn and kick. Good, Lisa. Good, Randy. That's much better. This is an inverted lift. Now be sure feet go straight to the ceiling and then swing her back and reach with that arm and in and stretch it. Okay, fine. All right, Chuck, get that spin in there, fine. And it's a swaying movement. Use your shoulders, Gabrielle. Good. All right now, we're not all together now, so work at your own speed. Take your time. Synchronize your movements. Great, that's much better, all right. Both of these hands have to hit the ching in the music at the very top of the, there. Okay, fine, good. Stretch. And everybody do the lift we practice that's best for them. Great. Okay. Fine. And fish. Good, Gonzo. Arabesque Bambi. Stretch. No, if you have her around the legs, you don't have to hold her back. Girls, arms up. And slow arch. All right, the arms have to be more graceful, all right? Okay. Now it's back, side, front. Double turn, arch, fluidly, up, back, side, front, double turn, don't stop, arabesque, kick. All right, let's try that again, kick, fine. Okay, now everybody, girl, coupe, and arch, back, side, front, double turn, and kick, fine, all right, good. This particular kind of ballroom dancing requires a great deal of discipline and concentration. It's the most difficult of all of the exhibition dances and is a lot more theatrical. She's like the wind through my tree. She rides the night next to me.
step, step, cha cha cha, step, step, cha cha cha, step, step, girls move forward, step, step, cha cha cha, Michael, watch the arm, open position, and cha cha cha, turn around, body roll, left, right, left, forward, back, right, left, right, forward, back, roll the head all around watch the rhythm and turn and body roll let's do a ballroom spin two three four five six seven eight step kick arch back boys arms up and flip the wrist five six seven eight head snaps boys pull up on releve girls, pull up and turn the head, snap the head and five, six, seven, eight, stretch and hold. Eight and touch and touch and touch and jump. Walk, walk, walk and flat toe, toe, flat toe, toe, stop, okay. Again, touch and touch, jump, walk, 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 Walk and flat, toe, toe, flat, toe, toe, flat, and roll. Step, step, kick, kick, half split, pull up, good, okay, come on, up, walk, walk, kick, kick, lunge, girls, then back, arch, and pull her up, six, seven, eight, and what's next, twist. Twist, twist, and pull up, and twist, 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 step across, toe, heel, step, step across, toe, heel, step, and side, close, side, close, side, close, side, side, ball, change, girl, spin, and open, good, fan kick, jump, and stretch. Step, 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 side, toe, heel, across, side, close, side, close, side, close, side, close, side, step, ball, change, girls, turn, stretch, out, step, turn, fan, kick, and pull, fine.
the boys part first. We're going to do the basic swing step, which is a derivative of the jitterbug step, the whip step, the east coast swing, the west coast swing, but we're doing the simplified version. Step to the left, touch the right, step to the right, touch the left, rock back, front. Boys part, step, touch, back, front, don't bounce. Touch, step, touch, back, step, step, touch, step, touch, walk, back, step, touch, step, touch, walk, front, step, touch, step, touch, turn around, step, touch, step, touch, turn around, step, touch, step, touch, left, right, step, touch, step, touch, turn around. Face your partner, ladies, reverse it, follow the gentleman. And step left, touch, right, touch, rock, step, step, you rock back. Step, touch, rock, step, step, touch, this time open your body. Rock, step, stay on the hands. Step, touch, rock, step, step, touch, step, touch, rock, step. Next, I want you to push her away. Step, touch, push her away. No, when you push her, it's step, touch, step, touch, push, push. Step, touch, step, touch, walk back. Step, touch, step, touch, walk, walk. Step, touch, step, touch, pull her back. Step, touch, step, touch, push her away. Step, touch, step, touch, pull her back. Step, touch, step, touch, push her away. Step, touch, step, touch, pull her back. Step, touch, step, touch, push her away. Step, turn, turn. Step, touch, step, touch, turn, turn. I always say the boys part. Keep the thighs together. Girls step into the boys. Boys step into the girls. Some of the other jitterbug steps are twisting, sugar foot, heels, 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 heels. And we put together a few of the little trick steps. They're simple but showy. And see what happens. Okay. Sit, lift, <laughs> and step together and back and together and back, underarm turn and open and wrap and open and spin. This is an oldie and it's easy, but it looks good. So we're using our beginner and intermediate and advanced students to do different little trick steps according to their ability. This is a more complicated one with Bambi and Randy.
Well, it's been six long weeks, a lot of hard work, and a lot of fun, too. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you've learned a lot. Now it's almost time for the competition, so I just wish you good luck. God bless you. Welcome to tonight's dance contest finals. Will all contestants please come to the dance floor? And now let's welcome tonight's dance finalist. <laughs>
and gentlemen, how about a nice big round of applause for all of our dancers this evening. Now we all know they were all terrific, but we are gonna have to narrow it down to four winners in the categories of Latin, swing, ballroom, and of course, dirty dancing. So our first winning couple in the category of Latin dance, let's hear it for Michael and Kristen. Next, in ballroom dancing, let's hear it for Randy and Brandy. <laughs> the winning couple tonight in the category of swing dancing is Gonzo and Lisa. Our final winning couple in the category of Dirty Dancing, let's hear it for Frankie and Bambi. How about another round of applause for all of our dancers this evening? <laughs> 